Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Missoula Prep Sports Network's coverage of Loyola Sports as we've got a double whammy here for us here on MPSN. Chris Stratton at the Ronan Activity Center for the Class B Western Divisional and a great one here between two teams that know each other very well, the Loyola Rams, the top of the crop here at the Divisional Tournament against the Florence Falcons who made their way into the tournament with a fireworks display on Monday night right here at the Ronan Activity Center with J.P. Briney knocking down a three at the buzzer to tie the game, was fouled as he made the shot. So he had an opportunity at the charity stripe and lo and behold, Briney would knock down the tray and the rest is history, Florence making their way into the divisional tournament. We're going to step aside when we come back. We'll get you tucked in and ready to go. You're listening to High School Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Construction is tough work. Lone is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lone Bro's third largest expense was health insurance. Pain the West partnered with Lone Bro to create a health and wellness program. Lone Bro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. For 35 years, Rambo's End Natural Foods has been family owned and operated in the heart of the Bitterroot Valley. Located in the Little Red House at 910 North 1st Street in Hamilton, Rambo's End Natural Foods is a proud sponsor of all the athletics in the Bitterroot Valley and is committed to helping the Bitterroot sports heroes in their success. Best of luck to the Florence Boys and Girls Basketball Program at the Class B Divisional Western Tournament this weekend. Rambo's End Natural Foods, the Bitterroot Valley's Little Red House. Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning! Warning! This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash. On reserve across from Large Pond. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana mega gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 bucks a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at the Ronan Activity Center for the Class B Western Divisional Boys and Girls Tournament. We've had two girls games go down in the beginning. Tipping the tournament off would be Eureka and Anaconda. Anaconda getting it in a 45-36 game with Anaconda moving on to the semifinal at four. They'll play Loyola Breakers who took down Thompson Falls, 65-25. So the semifinal for the girls, one of them has been decided with Anaconda and Loyola playing at 4 p.m. The tip-off game tomorrow will be Eureka and Thompson Falls at 8 a.m. 
win or go home on that side. We've got our first boys game on the docket, and it is the Loyola Rams and the Florence Falcons up on the docket here. And the Falcons, as I mentioned in the opener, coming in with a splash as they would get the win in dramatic fashion on Monday night, and they're hoping that some of that lucky charm will rub off against these Rams, who Loyola, the number one team in the West and playing very strong. They've got a stable full of seniors and only a couple of underclassmen on the court or on the bench for Loyola, and the Falcon has made the building, folks. The Florence Falcons mascot, not quite sure what his name is, but uh, the Falcon is here representing the, Fal the, the Florence Falcons with the cheerleaders, and I love this time of year. Florence with their pep band, you heard in the background there, playing the tunes for us. I love the state tournaments, folks, when it comes down to this time because of the fact of all of this action. If you can make it up here to Ronan, I would greatly encourage you to do it as it's a good time here at the Ram Activity or Ronan Activity Center. We're going to step aside. When we come back, we'll have your starting lineups and opening tip. You're listening to Loyola and Florence Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davison & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davison & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davison & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Warning. Warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning. Warning. This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash. On reserve across from Large Pond. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Construction is tough work. Lonebro is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lonebro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lonebro to create a health and wellness program. Lonebro built an in-house gym and together we developed the biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. At Missoula Electric Cooperative, we are owned by the members we serve. We take great pride in the responsibility of representing each of our seven districts that are spread throughout Western Montana and Idaho. Together with our members, we have developed three solar programs which help to reduce our carbon footprint while also offering another cost-effective, renewable energy source to our members. Missoula Electric Cooperative, where we are proud to offer a 95% carbon-free portfolio to our members and proactively plan for a brighter future. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at the Ronan Activity Center as we've got a good one coming up. The two teams that make up a great rivalry if you will the Loyola Rams and the Florence Falcons just a few miles separate these two teams and when they meet it doesn't matter what sport football basketball softball cross country track it doesn't matter these teams they play hard against each other through the tournament or through the games and then as soon as that whistle blows they are best of friends and uh a, an example of that is during the football season, the last game of the year for the regular season, uh, Mr. Alt of Florence would go down and Loyola, the fans, just an outpour of love for Mr. Alt as he had to spend some time in the concussion recovery unit at the hospital and uh, just uh, a, a very tough time for his family. 
and the Loyola family reaching out and showing their love and respect for the Alt family. So lots of, lots of uh, hard play between these two teams, but when it comes down to it, they're brothers and sisters. We're ready for our starting lineups as the PA announcer has decided to go ahead and go into his spiel. I'll go ahead and jump into mine. We'll start out with the Florence Falcon boys. Starting off, number zero, a 5'9 senior, that's Brendan Bailey. Number two is a 5'9 sophomore, the glory winner of Monday night, J.P. Briney. Number three is a 6'3 junior, that's Jacob Round. Number five is a six foot freshman, that is Blake Shoup. And number 24, a 6'1 senior, Parker Hudson Pillar and Caleb DeGroote, the head coach for the Florence Falcons. Hudson Pillar, a little note. Last time I saw him was the crosstown or the uh, double header with Florence at the Ram Athletic Center in Missoula. And Hudson Pillar had ice wrapped around his knee and had injured it the night before in the game, the night before. And so he's back on the court. So happy to see him. I love this young man. He has got a motor that just will not quit. And when he popped up, when I was covering Flor or Loyola soccer this year, he popped up on the Steve I soccer program and I was ecstatic to see him on the roster. So good to see him back in the lineup. Now for the Loyola Rams. They're led by their senior number one, Jack Lincoln, a 6'4 senior. Number two is a 6'3 senior, Ryan Tyrrell. Number five, a 5'10 senior, stands at 5'10 but plays at eight foot tall. That's Jacob Hollenbeck. Number 11, a six foot one senior, a shooter from the outside, Charles Burns, and the power in the paint. Number 15, a six five senior, that's Cooper Waters. The Loyola Rams, coached by Eddie Stack. Those are your starting lineups for today's matchup with the Loyola Rams and the Florence Falcons. Teams shaking hands at midcourt, just about ready to get started here at the Ronan Activity Center. Folks, there's games going on all day, starting at 8 today, tomorrow, and Saturday, with the last game both today and tomorrow after 9. So plenty of time for you to get up here. It's a gorgeous day for a drive, and these folks here at the Ronan Activity Center put on a good show. We're ready to go for our jump. There's the whistle, it's in the air, and Florence will control the jump, moving left to right as I'm perched up behind the Ram bench on the scorer's table side of the court. Ball on the near side, in the hands of Bailey, taken away by Tyrrell. Tyrrell's gonna give it off to Hollenbeck, who brings it up right to left. Far side, into the corner, it's Burns. Drives the baseline, bounce pass to Waters, and it's taken away and brought up court in the hands of Briney. Briney will stop on the big orange R, now dribbles to the far side, picked up by Lincoln. Goes far side in the hands of Round. Round will dribble out of the far corner. Wants his man to come up and Bailey will oblige. Bailey, Bailey now looking for the drive. Cooper Waters picks him up on the switch. Near side, Round to the top to Hudson Pillar. Now far side in the hands of Wood. Here's Hudson Pillar on the baseline. Tyrrell with hands up. Hudson Pillar off the glass and it's good. Parker Hudson Pillar gets everybody on the board to make it 2-0 Florence with seven minutes left in the first quarter. High to Burns in the near corner, now it's Waters. Waters off the glass and it goes. Cooper Waters gets the Rams on the board to make it 2 all. Hollenbeck will ride Wood up court. Hollenbeck goes to the floor. Wood will take advantage into the corner. Here's Briney for two off the baseline, no good, and Burns will get the rebound. Now they'll run the other way. It's Lincoln to the hoop, off the glass, no good. Tyrrell will have the rebound and the putback. And the Rams will take the lead, four to two, with 6.20 left in the game in the first quarter. Here's Bailey, swings it to Wood at the top, now far side to Round. Round with Waters, hand spread wide, comes to Briney. Briney fakes the three, drives, Shot, Lincoln gets a hand on it, the shot won't go. 
And we'll have our first foul of the game coming to Jack Lincoln. So J.P. Briney will shoot and he'll knock down the first one. The official comes to the scorer's table. A brief moment. And a little. Uh, they're calling for Lucky Larson, the athletic director here at Ronan. Seems to be some sort of issue. Here's the second one by Briney, and he'll knock it down. Ties the game at four with six minutes left. And, Bri and Bailey will poke this one out of bounds on the pass from Hollenbeck to Burns. Loyola ball. Loyola wearing their white jerseys. They've got the Columbia blue and navy stripes down the side of the shorts with a navy blue name and number. Waters, and it comes off of Tyrrell's head, picked up by Bailey. Bailey has it poked away but controls it. Bailey now gives it off to Wood, who crosses midcourt on the big orange R. Dribbles between his legs, comes near side. At the top, in the hands of Briney. Briney swings it to Wood. Hudson Pillar underneath, his shot won't go, gets his own rebound, and he puts it back in. Hudson Pillar will get it to go, and the Falcons take the lead. Six to four. Here's Burns to Tyrrell to Lincoln at the top. Lincoln crosses over, dribbles behind his back at the free throw line. Now Holland back on the far side. Tyrrell gets it at the free throw line. Burns in the near corner. He'll shoot the three. Off the rim, no good. Holland back with the rebound. And Waters will shoot the baseline now on the near side. It won't go. And we get whistles. And this will go against Loyola as Hudson Pillar goes to the floor. Cooper Waters will pick up his first foul. So the breakers go into a press, but it's broken. Here's Briney, swings it to Hudson Pillar. Hudson Pillar, the handoff to Bailey. Bailey will drive in, now to the top two. Round, round drives, Burns is there and they're gonna call the foul on Burns. Looked like Burns had set his feet, but the official underneath the basket said no. And that'll be the first one for Burns. Number three is a team, zero for Florence. No look, pass inbound, round, he'll put the shot up, no good, poked away and Tyrrell will have the rebound. On the run now. And Burns will get the shot to go in. And it's tied at six once again. 4.30 left, first quarter. Six all on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Wood has it at the top, comes to Bailey on the near side. Gets a screen, Tyrrell picks him up. Now the switch back into the corner to Wood. He'll drive on Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck good with round on the screen. Comes to Hudson Pillar at the top. Hudson Pillar comes to Briney on the near side. Screen picked up and Cooper Waters will have the steal. Waters to the hoop and we have our first dunk of the day. Cooper Waters takes two scoops and puts it through the hoop. 3.55 left in the first quarter. Eight to six, Loyola. Wood has his dribble poked away by Hollenbeck but controls. Comes to the near side in front of the Ram bench. Now to the top. Pass out in front of Briney, who controls it. Lincoln will come out and control Briney. Briney looks to the bench, now drives in. Tyrrell, pass behind his back, and it's Lincoln to pick it up. Lincoln's got Bailey to beat. Lincoln off the glass, and it's good. The Rams extend their lead. And we get a timeout from Florence. Loyola 10, Florence 6. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Without the support of local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is not able to cover local high school sports. And now, we would like to thank those businesses for their support. Thank you, Opportunity Jane, for supporting high school sports at MPSA. Welcome back to MPSN. As we come out of the timeout, Loyola with a 10-6 lead, the largest lead to the game for either team as it's been going back and forth 
to start out the game and Loyola picking away here now and taking a four point lead. And it will be Florence Ball going left to right out of the timeout. 327 left in the first. Wood is the ball handler. Crosses midcourt, swings it to Bailey. Back to Wood at the top. Now Hudson Pill at the free throw line. No look to Bailey. Wood gets it back at the top. Hudson Pill at the free throw line. Now back here is Bailey and he'll knock down the three. It's 10-9 now. Loyola. Hollenbeck has his pass poked away, but Waters will get it. Water shot won't go. But the whistle is blowing and we'll have our first foul against Florence. Jacob Round will pick up his first foul. Waters now to shoot free throws. First one off the front of the rim. Posey will check in around to the bench for Florence. 2.59 left in the first quarter. Second one for Waters off the rim and it's a rebound for Florence. Wood will take his time, now swings it to Bailey on the far side, picked up by Burns. Bailey will dribble out. Now he's got a double team to round at the top. Hudson Pillar by himself. Now it's Brainy in the near corner. Off the rim, no good. And a rebound by Tyrrell. We run. Here's Waters. Shot. It goes down. Cooper Waters for two. 12-9. Rams on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 2.20 left in the first quarter. Near side. Winner moves on to the semifinal tomorrow night. Far side, in the hands of Posey. Now it's Woods at the free throw line. Back to Briney. Briney will drive the defense. Terrell with his hands up, shot won't go, and it's a rebound. Running the other way, and Hollenbeck will be fouled as he goes to the hoop, and the shot goes down. Foul will be charged too. Halfy to come in now. Tyrrell to the bench. No signal. Bailey, that now we get the announcement on the foul. Here's Hollenbeck for the N1. He'll knock it down. 15-9, Rams. 157 left in the first quarter. On the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. It's gonna be Briney to break the D. Hudson Pillar underneath. Hudson Pillar off the glass and it's good. So glad that young man is back into the action as he makes it 15 to 11. Rams with 100 seconds. Now Haffy on the baseline. He'll put it up. Shot is blocked. And guess who? It's Hudson Pillar with the rebound. Wood crosses midcourt with Hollenbeck on his hip. Swings it to Bailey. Burns is there. Screen coming up by Posey. Doesn't use it. Now the screen is used. Posey swings it near side. Hudson Pillar, he'll jack the three, knocks it down. Hudson Pillar is on fire here in the opening quarter for Florence. And now Burns will be fouled with Posey on the reach. 68 seconds left. Nope, they're going to call it on Bailey. That's his second. That's number three. So each team with three. Tyrrell will come in, Waters to the bench. So it's Lincoln, Hollenbeck, Haffey, Tyrrell, and Burns on the court for the Rams. Posey, Hudson Pillar, Wood, Bailey, as Hollenbeck will knock down the three. To make it 18-14, Rams. 50 seconds left. Here's Briney. Up court and it's poked away by Burns. Tyrrell will come up with it. Now the handoff to Lincoln with 43 seconds left in the quarter. 18-14 Rams on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Lincoln picks up his dribble at the top. He'll come to Hollenbeck on the near side. Hollenbeck in the near corner. Swings it back to Lincoln at the top. 30 seconds. Finds Tyrrell but the pass is wide. Turnover and it will be Florence Ball. Now substitution coming as Bailey will come off and Eli Peterson will come on for Florence. 
28 seconds left in the first quarter. 19, or 18, 14. Loyola, Briney crosses midcourt. Hollenbeck is there, Hollenbeck will poke it and they're gonna say a travel by Briney. 18 seconds left on the clock. Florence looking to dip into that fire that they used on Monday night to get into the tournament and they're playing well against the Rams right now. Hollenbeck at the top with 10 seconds left in the quarter. Tyrrell gets it on the near side to Burns at the top now. Seven seconds, now it's Hollenbeck. Entry into Tyrrell, Tyrrell cross court. Here's Lincoln for three and Lincoln goes down in a whistle. Three pointer does not go, but I believe Jack Lincoln is gonna to go to the charity stripe to shoot three. Levi Posey picking up the foul. That'll be his first, number four as a team. So Lincoln will get three with one second left on the clock. Lincoln will knock down the first one. Official bounces it back to Lincoln. Here's the second. And it's good. Twenty to fourteen, Rams extending the lead, the largest so far. S third one is off the rim, and Hudson Pillar will have the rebound, and that will be the end of the period. Loyola twenty, Florence fourteen. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. For over 35 years, Rambo's End Natural Foods has been family owned and operated in the heart of the Bitterroot Valley. Located in the Little Red House at 910 North 1st Street in Hamilton, Rambo's End Natural Foods is a proud sponsor of all the athletics in the Bitterroot Valley and is committed to helping the Bitterroot sports heroes in their success. Best of luck to the Florence Boys and Girls Basketball Program at the Class B Divisional Western Tournament this weekend. Rambo's End Natural Foods, the Bitterroot Valley's Little Red House. Our prep sports athletes cannot be our local sports heroes without the support of family and the community. The following groups would like to wish the Florence Boys and Girls Basketball Team the best of luck at the Class B Western Divisional Tournament this weekend. Drum roll, please! The Zahn family, Mike Zell Trucking, Cindy Larson, Lars Photography, and John Karen Cassidy and Riley of the Yeoman family. Thank you for your support, and go Falcons! Let's go! Welcome back to MPSN as we head to the second quarter here at the Ronan Activity Center with Loyola leading 20 to 14 over the Florence Falcons. Want to welcome in all the Falcons fans. Very excited to bring Florence tournament basketball this weekend for the Falcons fans. Lincoln underneath the basket, shot goes and won. So Lincoln will get the charity one, end one. And Eli Pedersen will pick up his first, number five as a team. So here's the end one by Lincoln. He'll knock it down. 57% from the charity stripe are the Rams. Wood on the run, Hollenbeck on his hip, crosses midcourt and stops. 7.44 left in the half. Bucky Crippen to the table. Near side. Briney. Briney gives it off at the top to Pedersen. Now Wood gets it. Hollenbeck there. Screen coming by Posey. Dribble picked up and now Hudson Pillar gets it. Near side it's Briney. Screen by Hudson Pillar. Shoulder into Lincoln. Recovery. And now it's a drive by Briney. He'll swing it out to Posey. Posey picks up his dribble. Hudson Pillar in the paint. Lincoln goes down and they're going to call the foul on Jack Lincoln. number two for Lincoln Lincoln looked like he had himself set half he's gonna come in as well as Crippen Burns and Lincoln go to the bench for Loyola Florence on the inbound underneath the basket on the near side Posey will get it swings it far side now in the hands of Pedersen Briney gets it catch and shoot three-pointer High off the rim, it'll hit the top of the backboard.
And Loyola will get it with seven minutes left in the half. Hollenbeck on the trot, comes near corner to Tyrrell. Tyrrell, ball high in the air, Crippen. He's a shooter, comes to Hollenbeck at the top. Now to Crippen in the corner, finds Waters on the far baseline. Tyrrell gets it, now Crippen. Crippen back to Hollenbeck at the top. 6.45 left in the half. Loyola 23. Florence 14 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's Happy. Comes to Hollenbeck. Now it's Crippen. Crippen with a bounce pass to Hollenbeck. Far side goes to Happy in the far corner. Happy's going to go ahead and shoot the three. They left him open. And Happy will knock down the tray. 26-14 Rams on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 6-17 left in the half. Near side in the hands of Pedersen. Pedersen will drive. Free throw line stops. Pops it. Air ball out of bounds. Loyola ball. 33% is Florence shooting from the field. Hollenbeck now right to left. Swings it to Crippen in the far corner. Crippen back to Hollenbeck. He'll dribble from the far side to the near side. Now Tyrrell. Tyrrell to Crippen. Hollenbeck at the top. Looked like he wanted to go to Waters, but goes back to Crippen. Hollenbeck and Crippen with Tyrrell. They'll play catch around the perimeter. Now Hollenbeck. Oh, that was close to a, a travel for Hollenbeck. Halfy. Now Tyrrell. Tyrrell at the top. 535. Crippen finds Waters. It's poked away. And Pedersen's on the run. Crippen recovers, and Pedersen will wait for traffic. And gives it off to Woods at the top. 523 left in the half. Near side, it's Pedersen. He'll use the screen. Waters with the steal. Round is there. Waters is up and off the glass, and it's good. Cooper Waters, Cooper Waters makes it 28-14. Rams, 5.05 left in the half. Wood comes up court, is met by Hollenbeck on the big orange jar. Far side in the hands of Briney. Briney now comes to Posey, who comes to Peter Pedersen on the near side. Crippen is there with arms up. Now it's Wood in the near corner. He get, gets a screen. Crippen switches off. Now here's Wood to the basket. Crippen hands up. Shot off. No good. And it's out of bounds off of Wood. Checking in for the Rams. Number 13. It'll be Loyola ball. Jaden Job to come in for Loyola now with Ryan Tyrrell to the bench. So it's Haffey, Hollenbeck, Job, Waters, and Crippen for the Rams. For Florence, it's Pedersen, Bailey, Wood, Round and number 23, that would be Neal. Ball out of bounds on the tip. It'll stay with Florence. They're shooting on the basket to the left of us. Burns at the table. They'll bring him in, and Hollenbeck will get a breather. 4.32 left in the half. Our next game for coverage will be later on this afternoon as the Florence girls, Haffey will get the inbound, and the shot will go down. The Florence girls will play the four o'clock game against Mission. 4.20 left in the half. Ball in the hands of Pedersen on the far side. Good move right to left. Gets his man off. Now swung into Woods in the near corner. Woods picks up his dribble. Finds Neal and now it's a timeout by Coach DeGroote. And they'll do a 30 second timeout. Loyola 30. Florence 14. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Due to generous sponsorship by local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is able to cover our local sports heroes. At this time, MPSN would like to thank those businesses. Thank you, Mike's Crank Coffee, for sponsoring high school sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN as we come out of the timeout. Loyola leads 30 to 14 over Florence. 4.05 left in the second quarter. It's Florence ball inbound far side of the court to the right of midcourt. They're going to go to Hudson Pillar underneath the basket. No look pass. Neal's not able to handle it. His shot is blocked and it's brought down by Loyola. Haffey with the rebound. And Cooper Waters will knock down the shot. No, it's out of bounds. Florence gets it, and Loyola is going to jump into a press. 
Ball handled by Pedersen. Burns is right on his hip as he crosses midcourt on the near side. Burns, Woods, knocks it into the hands of Twite. Jeffrey Twite checking in, and Twite will go to the hoop, and they're gonna call offensive foul against Jeffrey Twite. Player control. And he's got a big smile on his face, he knew. Getting checked in here for the postseason for the first time. Loyal is gonna go into their press. We get a whistle as Burns goes to the floor. Pedersen's gonna be called for the foul on the inbound. And that's a second one against Pedersen. Twight gets the inbound from Burns on the near side. 3.42 on the clock here in the second quarter. Cross court to Job. Job with a tissue in his nose, must have had a nosebleed before the game. Burns now back to Job at the top. Waters has his ball poked away, and now Pedersen will run. He's got Job to beat. Job in the air, and he'll foul Pedersen. And so Job will have his first foul. And that sends Pedersen to the line to shoot two. As he knocks down the first one, Lincoln in for Waters. Second one goes down as well. 30 to 16 Rams, Burns into Job in the far corner, 320 left in the half. Back to Job, far corner, Burns. Burns will dribble, swings it to Twite, near side. Finds Lincoln, Lincoln's shot will be blocked. And Job comes up with the steal. Lincoln, far side, steps behind the three-point line. He'll jack it off the rim. Haffey is there. Haffey pokes it back to himself, and it's Twite to come down with it. And the second shot will not go. And now the takeaway, Job to Twight. Twight goes in, off the glass, it won't go. Burns is there for the rebound. Burns will put it up and he'll be fouled. Charles Burns. Bailey will pick up his third. And Charles Burns will shoot two. Burns with the first one. Does not go. Rams 50%, four for A. Briney back in. Ooh, and Bailey to the bench. Second one will go down for Burns. Thirty-one sixteen. 234 left in the half. Woods will pick up his dribble at the top. Twite is there. Hudson Pillar gets it. Now back to Woods. He'll back off to the big orange R at midcourt. The Deer Lodge boys headed to the locker room as they've got the next game. Here's the shot from the top. No good by Briney, and it's Twite to bring down the rebound. Now the run by Burns. Stops in the near corner. 211. Fed into Lincoln. He'll spin against Hudson Pillar. And the ball is poked out of his hands. No foul. They're going to say straight up out of bounds. Burns gets the inbound. Now the shot from the corner. And Charles Burns will knock down the three. Here's Woods, 34-16 Rams on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 149 left in the half. Near side, it's Briney. He'll drive to the free throw line, now swings it out to Neal. The handoff to Wood. Wood looked at the hoop, but he's gonna swing it to Hudson Pillar, who will shoot the three. It dies on the back of the rim. Neal with the rebound, and he gets the put back. Great job on the offensive board by Florence and Neal. Haffey now gets it. Pokes it out, Job, corner, three-pointer, knocks it down. Jaden, Job for three, makes it 37-18. We get a whistle underneath the basket. And Jack Lincoln's gonna be called for the foul. 
That's number seven as a team, so we'll walk down to the other end of the court and Woods will shoot the one and one. And a substitution coming. That would be Scully coming in for Neal. 121 left in the half. Here's Woods with the first one and one. He'll hit it. That'll leave him one more. Second one's in the air and he'll knock that one down. 17 point game, 37 to 20. Rams, 115. Here's Waters on the baseline, shot won't go. Hotson Pillar with a good block out and he'll get the rebound. Sixty-four seconds left here in the half. Rams thirty-seven, Florence twenty on the fast trip conical scoreboard. Hotson Pillar gets it on the baseline. Shot no good. Rebound by Haffey. Now the run the other way. Waters gets it on the baseline and it'll be out of bounds off of Woods. Loyola holds on to it with 47 seconds left in the half. 37-20, Rams. Hollenbeck inbound to Burns. He'll catch, shoot, three off the rim and it's poked out. Job will pick it up. Job will put it back up. Shot won't go and Burns is there for the rebound. And Hollenbeck will knock down the three. Wood goes to Hotson Pillar at the free throw line. 40 to 20 is your score. 21 seconds left. Rams in charge of the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Wood on the far side. Controls his dribble. Now the pitch out to Hotson Pillar. He'll drive on Haffey. Far baseline. Fadeaway shot. Off the rim. And it's a rebound by Waters. Near corner, one second. Haffey for three, off the rim, it won't go. And that is how the first half will end. The Rams 40, Florence 20. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davison & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davison & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davison & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Warning, warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning, this is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash. On reserve across from Large Pond. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Construction is tough work. Lombro is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lombro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lombro to create a health and wellness program. Lombro built an in-house gym and together we developed the biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. At Missoula Electric Cooperative, we are owned by the members we serve. We take great pride in the responsibility of representing each of our seven districts that are spread throughout Western Montana and Idaho. Together with our members, we have developed three solar programs which help to reduce our carbon footprint while also offering another cost-effective, renewable energy source to our members. Missoula Electric Cooperative, where we are proud to offer a 95% carbon-free portfolio to our members and proactively plan for a brighter future. 
Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN as we are at halftime here at the Ronan Activity Center where the Loyola Rams lead the Florence Falcon boys 40 to 20 here at the half. And the Loyola Breakers getting a win for Loyola in the game just before this one. Taking down Thompson Falls 65-25. They'll face Anaconda, the winner of the opening game over Eureka 45-36. So four o'clock tomorrow night, we'll have Loyola and Anaconda girls playing in the semifinal game, the first one. And then Eureka and Thompson Falls will play the early morning loser out game tomorrow morning. Coming up after this game, it's Deer Lodge and Thompson Falls. And then we will have the girls with Big Fork. Oh, no, I apologize. Florence and Mission at 4 o'clock. We'll have that game right here on MPSN. And then Deer Lodge and Big Fork at 540. And then the boys cap the night out. Big Fork and Anaconda and Eureka and Mission to finish it off. We're at halftime where the Loyola Rams have the lead 40 to 20 over Florence. We're a step aside when we come back, we'll have your halftime stats. You're listening to High School Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Construction is tough work. Lone is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lone Bro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lone Bro to create a health and wellness program. Lone Bro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. For over 35 years, Rambo's End Natural Foods has been family owned and operated in the heart of the Bitterroot Valley. Located in the Little Red House at 910 North 1st Street in Hamilton, Rainbow's End Natural Foods is a proud sponsor of all the athletics in the Bitterroot Valley and is committed to helping the Bitterroot sports heroes in their success. Best of luck to the Florence Boys and Girls Basketball Program at the Class B Divisional Western Tournament this weekend. Rainbow's End Natural Foods, the Bitterroot Valley's Little Red House. Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning! Warning! This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash. On reserve across from Large Pond. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 bucks a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as we are at the half between the boys, Florence and Loyola. Both teams taking the court while we were at break, warming up on their prospective hoops. We're going to go ahead and take a look at stats here. The Rams out rebounding the Falcons, 16 to seven. Five of those rebounds for Florence came on the defensive side. 28% from the field for Florence. 33% from beyond the arc and 100% six for six from the free throw line. Loyola, they would shoot 62% from the free throw line, 45% from three-point range and they're 55%, five for nine 
from the charity stripe. Loyola, second chance points as they've got nine offensive rebounds compared to their seven defensive. And that is kind of the edge right now. Loyola, 20 points in their first two quarters, 20 in the first, 20 in the second to get to their 40. It would be 14 points for Florence in the first and six in the second as we're just moments away from the start of the second half. We'll step aside. You're listening to High School Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Warning, warning. Welcome back to MPSN as we are at halftime here between Loyola and... Florence boys, 145 left in the half here. In the halftime break, we've got the Florence pep band serenading us in the background. One of the best parts, I think, of these tournaments is just the display of school spirit. You've got cheerleaders in the house. You've got pep bands in the house. And, you know, they're just going off and on fire and just adds to the atmosphere and the spirit here at the Athletic Center, the Ronan Athletic Center. We'll step aside. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Benz with health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lowenbro to create a health and wellness program. Lowenbro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Plonk, it's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Welcome back to M <clears throat> excuse me. Welcome back to MPSN, Chris Stratton at the Ronan Activity Center. We've got the Florence Boys taking on the Loyola Rams. Start of the third quarter, and it will be Florence Ball as they're working on the hoop to the left of us. Here's Wood to the hoop, and he's going to knock it down right out of the gate. Wood is taking it to the rack, 40-22. to 22. Here's Tyrrell now. He'll work against Hudson Pillar, and Tyrrell will get it to hop over the rim to put points on the board for the Rams. 42-22, Loyola on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Bailey, the ball handler, with Lincoln in his face. The handoff to Wood, who's on the run. Comes to the near side, picks up his dribble. Now back to Bailey at the top. Wood and Bailey will play catch. Now they swap spots as, ba as Wood stands on the big orange R. The handoff to Briney. They'll find round at the top now, 722. Briney in the corner, three-pointer in the air, off the back of the rim, and it's Bailey to come up with the rebound. Wood at the top. Goes to Briney in the corner. Burns is there with hands out. Now Hudson Pillar will get it. Tyrrell with his hands up. Round. Wood on the run to the basket, but covered up by Hollenbeck. Hudson Pillar gets it back now. Holds it under his left arm. Looking. Now he'll dribble. Free throw line. Has it poked away by Waters. And Tyrrell will step on the end line as he tries to save it. Florence will hold on to the ball. 6.46 left in the third quarter. Rams 42, Florence 22 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Inbound around, Bailey gets it at the top. Bailey will split the defense. Hudson Pillar on the baseline. Hudson Pillar to Bailey again once at the top. Now cross court to Briney. Briney dribbles, Woods gets it. Wood now backs off, puts his heels on the big orange R, swings it to the near side to Briney. Back to Wood. Now Bailey gets it. Cross court, Briney by himself. He'll jack the three. Off the rim, no good, and it's Waters for the rebound. 
and Loyola will run. Here's Burns to Hollenbeck at the top, picked up by Bailey. Here's Tal Hollenbeck, or Tyrrell. Tyrrell's shot won't go, and a rebound by Florence. Briney, he'll be blocked by Burns, and now Burns will run. He's got five black jerseys. Hudson Biller steps in front of it, and the shot will not go. An easy rebound for Florence. Now Florence works it at the top, 4.37, as they work on the hoop to the left of us as I sit up behind the scorer's table. Waters gets a hand on the pass to Round, but Round will control it. Now it's Wood. Wood dribbles to the near side. The hand off to Briney. Briney will come to the near side. Here's Bailey into Hudson Pillar by himself. Waters closes, but it's too late, and he draws the foul. Nice effort. And it's Burns who will pick up the foul. It's his second. And Hudson Pillar will go to the charity stripe to shoot two. First one for Hudson Pillar is good. Florence continuing to stay 100% at the free throw line. Second one now. Off the back of the rim, and it's round to come down with the rebound. And going to the hoop is Wood. He'll be fouled by Tyrrell. Tyrrell will pick up his first. That's number two. And now Round will shoot free throws. First one for Round. Rips the net. Round will set for a second. It's in, and it rattles home as well. Nine, nine for ten from the line from the charity stripe, and we get a whistle. Hollenbeck stepped on the sideline as he crossed in front of the scorers' table. So it's a turnover. 42-25. Loyola, 5:08 left on the clock here at the Ronan Activity Center. Next game for coverage will be at 4 o'clock as the Florence girls will take on Mission. Round has it, goes to Bailey in the far corner, 4.55 in the third. Bailey dribbles around in the far corner, picks up his dribble and gives it off to Round. Round stands in front of the Florence cheer cheerleaders who comes to Brian at the top. Brian, give and go. Round, Tyrrell is there, but Round will get it to go. And it's now 42-27. Loyola on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 4.30 left in the third. Hollenbeck, rode by Briney, goes to Lincoln on the far side. Lincoln wants movement, comes to Waters at the top. Swings it to Burns. Burns, Hollenbeck with Briney posted up, and he'll get the block. Shot no good. Rebound. Hudson Pillar. So things have slowed down on the shooting end for the Rams here in the third quarter. Bailey with it on the far side, goes to round, gets his man in the air, and now Bailey will shoot the three off the rim, and Tyrrell will have the rebound. And Burns will go to the rack. The shot will go down, and one. And Briney will pick up his first. Here's the N1 by Burns. He knocks it down. 45-27. Loyola, 3.49 left in the third quarter. It's Briney to bring it up. He's met by two. Gets it off to Woods. Cross court, and Briney will throw it into the Florence bench on the near side. Loyola with the inbound right from there. 3.42 left in the third quarter. Here's the inbound. Hollenbeck will control. Briney will meet him at midcourt. Hollenbeck will come from the near side to the far side. Now drives to the free throw line. Gives it off to Lincoln. Lincoln will drive, and Lincoln will be fouled. Shooting two. Foul is on number three, That'll be number two as a team. And Round will pick up his second. 
Here's Lincoln shooting two. First one off the back of the rim. Ram shooting 54% from the charity stripe. As Neal comes on and Round goes to the bench. And Happy's going to come in. That'll put Waters to the bench. So for the Rams, it's Hollenbeck, Burns, Lincoln, Happy, and Tiro. Neal, Hudson, Pillar, Bailey, Wood, and Briney for Florence. Second one for Lincoln. No good. We get a whistle. Lane violation. So Lincoln will get to try again. It is a lane violation on Florence. Here's the shot. Lincoln will connect on that one. 46-27 Loyola, 3.30 left in the third quarter. It's Woods and Briney to bring it up. A little press by the Rams. Bailey loses control but regains his dribble. Now picked up with a double team. Gives it off to Briney in front of the Florence bench on the near side. Here's Wood at the top. Back to Briney. Fakes the three. High pass to Wood who swings it to Bailey on the far side. 3-10 left in the third. 46-27 Loyola. Wood goes to Bailey. Back to Wood. They'll play catch with Briney. Cross court. Here's Bailey. Thought about the three. Drives the baseline. Haffey is there. And Haffey will foul Bailey. Happy will pick up his first foul of the game, sending Bailey to the line to shoot two. First one for Bailey. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Very impressed with this Florence team at the charity stripe. As they're shooting 90%, 10 for 11. Here's Bailey for the second one. And he'll knock it down as well. 46-29, Loyola on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 2.55 left in the third. Lincoln has it on the far side, waits for traffic as the black jerseys outnumber the white jerseys. Here's Lincoln with Wood. Lincoln will split the defense over Hudson Pillar, and it goes in. Jack Lincoln will make it 48-29, Loyola. 2.35 left in the third, and Lincoln is going to foul Hudson Pillar on the pass. And that'll be number four for Lincoln. And number four as a team. Coach Stack's going to let Lincoln play on with four. Wood gets the inbound on the far sideline. Dribbles and hands off to Bailey at the top. Now Briney gets it, 225. Swung back to Wood, far side. Hudson Pillars in the corner, back to Wood. Comes to Briney at the top. Briney thought about the three, now back to Wood. Free throw line, no look underneath the Neal off the glass and it's good. And a steal on the inbound and Haffey will foul Bailey. Liam Haffey will pick up his second. Great job by Bailey to try to steal the inbound. And Bailey goes back to the line to shoot two. First one is good. 16 point game now, 48-32. And Bailey can't get the second one to go. Tyrrell will knock it out of bounds. And it'll stay with Florence. 2.08 left in the third. The Falcons clawing their way back into this one. We get a whistle. And this one's going to go against Florence. Hudson Pillar will pick up his first foul. Burns to handle the ball, crosses midcourt with Bailey in his face. Burns now with the drive, comes to Tyrrell in the near corner. Tyrrell comes back to Burns, 155 left in the third. Tyrrell gets it back on the near side, now back to Burns, swings it to Lincoln. Lincoln, he'll drive behind his back, shot, and it's off the rim, no good, a rebound. By Florence, Florence's shot won't go, and a rebound now by Loyola, and Lincoln's shot won't go, we get a whistle. 
Tiro will pick up his second foul. And a timeout is called. It is a 30 second timeout. We'll step aside. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Due to generous sponsorship by local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is able to cover our local sports heroes. At this time, MPSN would like to thank those businesses. Thank you, Garden Freedom, for your support of high school sports on an MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at the Ram, or Ronan Athletic Center have been playing at the Ram Athletic Center. Activity Center all season long, so it rolls off the tongue very nicely, but we're in Ronan, Montana for the Class B Divisional Tournament. The boys on the court right now, Loyola leading Florence, 48-32. 93 seconds left in the third quarter, and it is Florence ball out of the timeout. Right to left is Florence. Briney and Wood trying to break some press, and they will. Briney comes to Bailey at the top. Now everybody settles back in to their zone. 2-3 by the Rams. Bailey, or... Er, Wood has it at the top. Now to Bailey in the far corner. Trying to get it into Hudson Pillar. Both Round and Hudson Pillar standing in the same space. And so Wood wants some movement. Gets it as Round moves out of the key. Briney gets it. Now back to Wood. Bailey at the far side. 62 seconds left in the third. Near side, Briney. Briney back to Wood. Good 2-3 zone by the Rams. Hudson Pillar gets at the free throw line. Wood back to Briney on the near side. He'll Euro step shot and it's good. Briney will make it 48-34. Loyola on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Hollenbeck crosses midcourt with Briney on his, and we get a whistle. Briney is going to call for the foul. It'll be on the line. It'll be number four against Florence. Briney will pick up his second. And it stops the clock with 40 seconds left in the third. 48-34, Loyola. Lincoln to inbound in front of the cheerleaders for Loyola on the far side. Comes into Happy. The give and go, and we're going to get a foul on Hudson Pillar. His second. Foul is on number 24, Parker Hudson Pillar. Gives the Rams the ball back. Job will come in, and Burns will go to the bench for Loyola. So Hollenbeck, Job, Happy, Lincoln, and Waters for the Rams. It is Briney, Bailey, as Job gets the inbound. Round, Hudson Pillar, and Haffey will get the backdoor shot. Nobody paying attention on the defensive side, and an easy bucket for Haffey. Lincoln pokes it away, but Briney will control. Now Hollenbeck, Haffey takes it away. Haffey on the run. He's got Lincoln on the back door. He goes to Lincoln, off the glass, and it's good. Lincoln will make it 52-34, Loyola. Now Round on the fast break, and the shot won't go. A block, rebound. And now it goes back in. 4-2 off of round, and that is how the third quarter will come to an end. Loyola, 52. Florence, 36. We'll be back with the final frame right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Our prep sports athletes cannot be our local sports heroes without the support of family and the community. The following groups would like to wish the Florence Boys and Girls Basketball Team the best of luck at the Class B Western Divisional Tournament this weekend. Drum roll, please! The Zahn family, Mike Sell Trucking, Cindy Larson, Lars Photography, and John Karen Cassidy and Riley of the Yeoman family. Thank you for your support, and go Falcons! Let's go! At Missoula Electric Cooperative, we are owned by the members we serve. We take great pride in the responsibility of representing each of our seven districts that are spread throughout Western Montana and Idaho. Together with our members, we have developed three solar programs which help to reduce our carbon footprint while also offering another cost-effective, renewable energy source to our members. Missoula Electric Cooperative, where we are proud to offer a 95% carbon-free portfolio to our members and proactively plan for a brighter future. Welcome back to MPSN as we go to the final frame. Loyola 52, Florence 36, the first boys game of the tournament. And it'll be Loyola ball to start the fourth. Burns gets the inbound. And he'll drive, swings it to Lincoln. Lincoln now off pass and it's picked up by Wood. Wood on the run now. Wood, he'll drive in on Lincoln. Tyrrell crashes into the corner to round on the far side. Now to Hudson Pillar at the top. 
Hudson Pillar will swing it near side into the hands of Briney. Briney now to the free throw line. Hollenbeck with a takeaway. Hollenbeck on the run. He's got Briney to beat the kiss off the glass, and it's good. 54-36 Rams. 7-15 left in the game. Wood has it. Tyrrell with a good solid defense. Tyrrell with a poke at the ball. Briney gets the pass in the near corner. Picks up his dribble to the top to Bailey. Bailey wants movement. Calls in the play with a tap to his shoulder. 6.55 left in the game. Now it's Briney on the near side. Briney will back off. Wood, or Round gets it. Round wants some movement, hands it off to Bailey. Bailey back to Round in the far corner. Round picks up his dribble. Hudson Pillar at the top. Near side. It's Briney. Briney now backs off. Here's the drive to the free throw line. Hands it off to Wood. Wood at the top. 6.34. Here's Bailey in the corner for three, and he knocks it down. Brandon Bailey for three. 54 39. Ram. 6.23. Left on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Burns will bring it up court for Loyola. He's going to drive. Tyrrell on the baseline. Tyrrell will drive. Shot and a whistle. Foul will go against Wood. No, it goes against Round. That'll be number three for Round and six as a team. Here's Tyrrell to shoot two. The first one off the back of the rim. That is something... Now Loyola is going to have to clean up here as DeGroote is going to call a timeout. It's a full one. We'll step aside. Loyola 54, Florence 39. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Construction is tough work. Lone Bro is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lone Bro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lone Bro to create a health and wellness program. Lone Bro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Due to generous sponsorship by local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is able to cover our local sports heroes. At this time, MPSN would like to thank those businesses. Thank you, Fuel Fitness, for sponsoring high school sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN, Chris Stratton at the Ronan Activity Center where the Loyola Rams lead the Florence Falcon Boys 54-39 with the final frame, 6.15 left. And we go to the charity stripe out of the timeout for Tyrrell to shoot his second of two. Each team with six fouls. Second one for Tyrrell off the rim and it's a rebound for Bailey. He'll bring it up, hands it off to Wood at the top. Wood now drives in and a misstep out of bounds. Loyal the ball. 6.01 left in the game. Inbound to Hollenbeck. Briney will ride Hollenbeck on the hip as he crosses midcourt on the far side. Lincoln gets it. Lincoln will drive. Splits the defense. Floater won't go. And a rebound by Florence. Near side, Wood. And he's tied up. We get a whistle. And this will go against Florence as Hollenbeck goes hard to the floor. Or this will go against Loyola. I apologize. One and one opportunity now as Hollenbeck picks up his first. So Wood will shoot the one and one. First one is knocked in. 86% for Florence from the charity stripe. Second one is good. 
54-41, Loyola, 5.35 left in the game. Lincoln in the far corner, dribbles between his legs a couple of times before he goes to Burns. Burns hands it off to Tyrrell at the top, now back to Burns. Burns comes to the top, rests. He's going to drive on Bailey. Euro step, shot, bounces around, and it goes in. 56-41, Loyola. Loyola shooting 56% from the field. Near side, in the hands of Briney, the hero from Monday night. Hudson Pillar now gives it off to Wood. Wood carded by Hollenbeck, and he throws it into the hands of Tyrrell. And Tyrrell will be fouled by Hudson Pillar as he reaches from behind. And that'll send Tyrrell to the line. As each team with seven fouls. Neal to come in, and Hudson Pillar will go to the bench. Here's the first one for Tyrrell on the one and one. First one is off. Poked out of bounds. It'll go to Florence. 4.58 left in the game. And another substitution. Briney will come out. Pedersen will come in now for Florence. Far side, and Pedersen will dribble it off of Lincoln's foot, and it will stay with Florence. They'll inbound in front of the girls on the far side. Job will come in. Hollenbeck is off. So for the Rams, it's Tyrrell, Waters, Job, Burns, and Lincoln. Pedersen, Wood, Bailey, Round, and Neal for Florence. And it is Pedersen who gives it off to Wood, who stands on the logo at midcourt for Florence. Near side in the hands of Pedersen. Pedersen dribbles, finds Neal on the near side. He'll drive on Tyrrell. Now the handoff, and they're going to say that Pedersen traveled before he stepped forward, before he took his first dribbles going forward. And Florence is going to drop into a press, so more white jerseys will come down on the left end of the court. Burns is the ball handler. He'll have Pedersen on his hip, and we get a whistle, and they're going to say a double dribble by Burns to turn the ball over to Florence. Fifty-six forty-one, Loyola on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 4.35 left in the game. Bailey gets the inbound. Job will be the man on defense. The handoff to Wood, and Wood will cross midcourt with Burns riding it. Round underneath, and the handoff to Bailey at the top. Bailey will cross over, spins, uh, fadeaway shot. And it's good for Bailey. He'll make it 56-43, Loyola. 4.09. Here's Burns at the top. Pedersen is there. Job on the near side, guarded by Bailey. Job will drive in. Bounce pass to Lincoln. Lincoln at the free throw line. Spins. Tyrrell. He'll split the defense. Tyrrell off the glass, and it's good. Ryan Tyrrell with a strong play to the hoop. Makes it 58-43, Loyola. 3.50 left in the game. Lincoln with a steal. Lincoln with one to beat. No look to Burns. Burns off the glass, and it's good. Charles Burns. And a little shout-out as we get a whistle. Timeout called by Florence. We'll get to that shout-out here in a moment. We'll step aside. It is a full timeout. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Without the support of local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is not able to cover local high school sports. And now, we would like to thank those businesses for their support. Thank you, Fast Trip Conoco, for supporting high school sports on NPSN. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at the Ronan Athletic Center. Class B Western Divisional, boys on the court. Loyola leading Florence 60 to 43 and we want to send a special shout out as we have this game being heard across the world uh, coach Burns Charles Burns father 
said that Grandpa is going to be listening in in Indianapolis, and Uncle is in Talon, Talon Estino, Estin, I'm going to brutalize this, Talon Estonia, Europe. So a shout out to the Burns relatives listening in throughout the world. Also got to meet a special listener, Jacob Hollenbeck's grandma. Met her at the senior night a couple of weeks ago. As Neil's going to jack the three up, it won't go, and it's a rebound by Twite. So we want to send a shout out to her as Tyrrell goes to the hoop. Shot won't go. Lincoln will have the rebound, and we get a whistle. And picking up the foul. Number five, Blake Shute. And that'll be his first. So here's Lincoln. No, that's Wood. I got something mixed up here. Okay. Lincoln's free throw does go. Second one is good as well. 62-43 Loyola, 3.13 left in the game. And I would imagine that Cooper Waters' grandfather is listening in as well. Our Loyola fans round with it on the baseline, comes out to the top, now to the near side to Neal. He's gonna put the three up off the back of the rim, chasing it down is Lincoln. Lincoln on the run now, and Lincoln will be fouled underneath the basket. Shot does not go in. And Shoup will pick up his second foul. And that's nine as a team for Florence. Here's Lincoln. First one off the front of the rim and back into the hands of Lincoln. Want to send a shout out to all the Florence fans listening in as well. I'm very excited for the opportunity for l being able to bring this game to you guys. Second one will go down for Lincoln. And Crippen will come in. Lincoln will go to the bench. So thank you to the Florence Booster Club. Thank you to the Florence fans and the parents for giving me the opportunity to be able to present your boys and girls games here at the Divisional. 2.37 left in the game, 63-43, Loyola. Round has it on the far side, gives it off to Briney. Briney now at the top. The handoff to shoot. Dribbles between his legs, now swings it to Round. Round will drive in, tries to split the defense, and it looks like Twight will be called for the foul. It will be Jeffrey Twight. It's his first. That's number two, eight as a team. Tyrrell goes to the bench, and that brings in Liam Lechner. Here's Round to shoot the free throw. The one and one is in the air, and it's knocked down. 88% for Florence from the charity stripe. That is exceptional, folks. Second one off the front of the rim. Shouldn't have said anything. The rebound, up court, Tyrrell off the glass, too hard. Or I mean Lechner. Shot won't go for Florence. And now it's Crippen by himself. Off the glass and it's good and Bucky Crippen is in the book to make it 65-44 Loyola with 152. Wood around on the baseline. He'll find Neal on the streak, and Neal will get the easy bucket on the back door. And a timeout is called by Loyola. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll step aside. You're listening to High School Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Due to generous sponsorship by local businesses, the Missoula Prep Sports Network is able to cover our local sports heroes. At this time, MPSN would like to thank those businesses. Thank you, D.A. Davidson, for sponsoring High School Sports on NPSN.
Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network at the 2019 Class B Western Divisional Tournament. Boys and girls, boys on the court right now. The Loyola Rams leading 65-46. The winner moves on to play in the boys semifinal game tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night at 720. They'll face the winner of Deer Lodge and Thompson Falls who are waiting in the wings. Out of the timeout, it is Bucky Crippen with the ball. Twight, and it's poked out of bounds by Bailey. 95 seconds left in the game. 65-46, Loyola. Twight gets the inbound, finds Mitzel in the corner. Now back to Twight underneath the basket. Mitzel on the far baseline, swings it. Lechner open for three, he'll shoot it, and it goes down. Liam Lechner will get a three-pointer in the postseason. 68-46, Loyola. We've got Crippen, Lechner, Twight, Mitzel, and Pratt on the court for Loyola. We get a whistle and a one-on-one -on -one opportunity coming for Florence. Lechner will pick up his first foul. And Neal will shoot. He'll knock down the first one-and-one. 16 for 19 is Florence from the free throw line. Exceptional in my book. Second one hangs on the rim and it falls in. 20 point game, 68 48, Loyola. Here's Mitzel in the corner. 59 seconds, comes back to Crippen. He'll jack the three up. Bucky Crippen for three. 71 48, Loyola. 49 seconds left. Here's Shoop on the far side. Inbound and it's Pratt to take it away. Pratt up to Twight. Twight on the run, he's got Shoop to beat and Shoop will foul him as he goes to the hoop. That's number three on Shoop. That will send us to the double bonus. 10 now as a team for Florence. Here's Twight with the first. Off the back of the rim, does not go. The Rams shooting 47% as they're 10 for 21 from the free throw line. Twight can't get the second one to go. And it's out of bounds on the far side. Stays with Florence who was fighting for the rebound. 37 seconds left in the game. Our next coverage will be at four o'clock as the Lady Falcons, in my book, the number one team on the girls' side, will take on Mission. Shoop with it at the top, 28 seconds. Now Briney, into the corner to Bailey, gets Twight in the air, picks up his dribble, swings it to Briney in front of the Florence bench on the near side. Now it's Neil. Neil back to Briney. He'll catch and shoot the three off the side of the rim. And a defensive rebound. Here's Mitzel off the glass, and it's good. 73-48, Loyola. Neal on the far side, two seconds, one second. Shot off the rim and it does not go. And that will finish out the game between Loyola and Florence. They'll move on to tomorrow night's game. 73-48 is your final. We'll step aside. For a quick break, when we come back, we'll get you a post game and prep you for the, girl, the girls game later on this afternoon. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davidson & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davidson & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davidson & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Warning, warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning, this is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash. On reserve across from Large Pond. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinners. 
Welcome back to MPSN. Jump the gun on the button. I apologize, but we'll go ahead and take a care of our post game. The Loyola Rams get the win. 73-48 over Florence. So Loyola moves on. They will take on the winner of Deer Lodge and Thompson Falls, which is going on right now. So Florence will fall to the loser out bracket. They'll have a game at 11.20 tomorrow morning facing the loser of Deer Lodge and Thompson Falls. Rams will have the 7.20 semifinal game tomorrow night against the winner of that game. Looking at stats, Loyola would out-rebound Thompson Falls, 24 to 17. 14 of those coming from the defensive side for Loyola and 12 defensively for Florence. For the Falcons, 85%, 17 for 20 from the charity stripe. Unbelievable, folks. I am just blown away by this free throw shooting by the Falcons here in today's game. They'd go 21%, 3 for 14 from beyond the arc, and 42% from the field. For Loyola, it was 56% from the field, 45%, 10 for 22 from the free throw line, and 50%, 7 for 14 from the charity stripe. So Loyola moves on, on the, to the semifinal. Florence will have a win or go home game tomorrow. We want to thank all the fans for tuning in and listening in especially the Florence fans. We appreciate it as they gave MPSN the opportunity to cover the games. We'll be back at 4 o'clock as the Lady Falcons will take on the mission Lady Bulldogs. We'll be back in a few hours. Enjoy your Thursday afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Well, goodbye!